Numerical Methods, Subtopic 1 Solution of Nonlinear Equations At the end of the lesson, you should be able to locate approximately a root of an equation by means of graphical considerations and or searching for a sign change. Remember how you solve quadratic equations. We can solve the equation by factorization, completing the square, or by using the quadratic formula. All above mentioned methods to solve quadratic equations are analytical methods. The solution obtained by using analytical methods is called exact solution. Due to the complexity of the equations in modeling the real life system, the exact solutions are often difficult to be found. Thus require the use of numerical methods. The solution that obtained by using numerical methods is called numerical solution. For example, the following equations cannot be solved by analytical method. None of the methods for solving equation, apart from drawing a graph, would enable us to solve the equations x cubed minus exponent x equal to 0 and x minus sine x equal to 1. When this occurs, we turn to numerical methods to approximate the solution. It is impossible to find an exact solution. But we can find an approximate solution. The first approximation or initial value of the zero of an equation can be found approximately either by using the graph or algebraic method. In graphical method, there are two cases. The first case, if the equation involved only one type of function. Plot or sketch the graph of y equal to f of x. If f of x equals zero, then x, that is the real root, is the intersection of the graph with the x-axis. From the graph, we can say that the approximate value of the root is x sub naught is equal to 1.3. The second case, if the equation involved more than one type of functions. For example, natural logarithm of x minus sine x equals 0. We have to rewrite the function in the form natural logarithm of x equal to sine x. Then, sketch the graph y equals natural logarithm of x and y equals sine x. The approximate value of the root is x sub naught equals 2.2. In algebraic method, we seek for the change of sine of f of x, when we substitute x with two consecutive integers. If f of a is greater than 0, or positive, and f of b is less than 0, or negative, then there is at least root between x equal to a and x equal to b. Or, if f of a is less than 0, or negative, and f of b is greater than 0, or positive, then there is at least one root between x equal to a and x equal to b. Steps of finding the first approximation of the root by using algebraic method. Step 1, find two values a and b such that f of a and f of b have different signs. Step 2, we can make the conclusion, that at least one root must lie between a and b if f of x is continuous. Example 1, find the approximate value of the solution of the equation by using both graphical method and algebraic method. The equation involves logarithmic and polynomial functions. So we rewrite the equation as natural logarithm of x equal to 2 minus x. Sketch the graph of y equal natural logarithm of x. The graph has x intercepted x equal to 1. Then sketch the graph y equal 2 minus x. The graph has x intercepted x equal to 2. The intersection of the two graphs is the root of the equation. Let's say that the approximate value is 1.5. In algebraic method, we have to make sure that the equation is equal to 0. f of x is the expression on the left side of the equation. Then we have to substitute x with two consecutive integers and we get the change of sine of f of x. For this example, substitute x with 1, f of 1 is negative 1 which is less than 0. Substitute x with 2, f of 2 is 0 0.6931 which is greater than 0. The opposite sine of f of 1 and f of 2 shows that there is a root between x equals 1 and x equals 2. Therefore, the approximate solution is x equal to 1.5.
example to show that the equation has only one real root which lies between 0 and 1. In order to show that the equation has only one real root, we have to use graphical method. It is hard to sketch the given cubic function, so we can rewrite the equation as x cubed equal to 1 minus x squared. Sketch the graph y equal x cubed. The graph passes through the origin. Sketch the graph y equal 1 minus x squared. The graph has x intercepted 1 and negative 1. Therefore, from the graph there is only one root between x equal to 0 and x equal to 1. Example 3 show that the equation has at least one real root which lies between 2 and 3. For this example, we use algebraic approach. Rewrite the equation, the right-hand side is 0. Then f of x is the left-hand side of the equation. Substitute x with 2, we have a value that is less than 0. Substitute x with 3, we have a value that is greater than 0. The opposite sign of f of 2 and f of 3 shows that there is at least one root between x equal to 2 and x equal to 3. Based on the examples given previously, answer the following questions. 